What's up everybody, I'm back, and if you watch the end of my playing NASCAR 21 Ignition video, you know that um, I wanted to do one of these, I wanted to make a game review, I thought I said I probably would, and I am, here I am. Welcome back to Game Reviews everybody, first one of 2022. And I debated not doing this because I did, I usually don't do game reviews for games that I play uh, on the channel. But I feel like I had to make this one because the video there, what you saw in that video, was only quick races. And only three tracks, only one car. Um, since I've been, I dove into the online, I dove into career mode, I dove into a few other things, uh, observed a few other things that I didn't plan to point out in that video. So I wanted to talk about that today. And talk about why this game is very fatally flawed. Um... I jumped into this game knowing I got this game for Christmas, so it, I got it after it came out, after like a couple of months. So I knew that it wasn't going to be perfect. I knew it had a pretty bad release. I knew that it was very overhyped, and then it crashed down. But I knew that I was going to give it a chance, you know? I was going to give it a chance, because it was a new NASCAR game. I needed a new, Na new NASCAR game. I'm like, okay, I'll give it a chance, you know? We'll see how it plays. And I think that start of that Nashville race was perfect. <laughs> perfect for what the epitome of this thing is. Holy crap. Was it bad. Um, I mean, and you have that, that monumental blunder right there. Uh, is by far. that mon That's a monumental blunder. And... That right there, along with all of the other ones that you can see on YouTube, um, everywhere, distract from what makes this game really bad. What 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 would the flaws that this game has that make it already a bad game, and then you put the monumental blunders over it to just to distract from, make people laugh at it, you know, say oh take pity on these guys, you know, all these bugs and crap and stuff like that. Um, first off. One thing that I noticed pretty early on is that the game likes to glitch out if you uh, skip too many practice sessions, your qualifying sessions. Like, if you do them too fast, the game glitches out. What is this, 2003? Like, how how do you do that? How, how does that make... How, how is that complete? How are you going to have the processing to have the game just glitch out like that? And no, it's not just because I'm playing it on PS4, okay? It's because I'm playing it and on a high-powered system, and it's the game's fault for that. So, it's not that big a deal. Like, it only does that every now and then. Um, but it shouldn't be happening for this new of a game. It really shouldn't. Um, also, the models. I want to talk about the model for the crew chief. I did quite a bit in the video, but I want to talk about the model for the crew chief because it's the same model. He just stands there and stares in your face when you want to look at him and you ha oh by the way why do you have to look at the crew chief to start the race like why can't you just click start the race why do you have to be in this like pre preset mode where you have to look at the stupid tablet that does absolutely nothing but give you statistical information that doesn't matter when you're doing a four lap quick race okay and then you have to turn over and look at the crew chief <laughs> Oh, you're staring at my face. Why? Ah. Like, kind of like that. Why are you? Why do you have to do that? And it's the same model, whether you're in the garage, or you're on pit road, or starting a race, qualifying, practice, whatever. You're still. It's gonna be the same thing. Oh, it's so weird. I don't know why that. It's probably not that big a deal, but I just wanted to point that out because I thought it was stupid. I thought it was so dumb. But um, moving on. Um, some other things, uh, obviously the crashes are, are obviously like the, the hit boxes, turn radiuses, you know, you slide up into a guy and you hit the wall, even if it's like this, you're going to flip over, turn like that. I think that's pretty dumb. Um, I notice when you don't start on the pole, I notice when you're starting a race that the field is often very separated from you, especially if it's like your first race. So, like, you, if, imagine you're starting, like, ninth, right? Well, everybody else, eighth on up, even tenth, even the tenth place car are going to go, you know, like that. And you're going to be stuck back here, even though you're going to the same speed as them. 
And then you got to spend the rest of the race catching up, uh, which is weird. I don't know why they're making you do that, but okay, I guess. Um, but what else is there? brain fart, guys, brain fart. Uh, moving on. It's not that big a deal, uh, especially it happens mostly on the play tracks. But also another thing, when you're racing and you hit the apron. You're, you're, it's like you hit the brakes very hard because I go from like 200 miles an hour to like 140 and I just barely tap the apron. Why? Why do I go that slow? And it kills your momentum. I also like the fact that when you crash, everybody behind you just comes to a complete haul. Hop. Haul. Everybody, everybody behind you just comes to a complete stop. Um, even if they're like a mile back, they, have, they make no attempt to pass you. When you're just sitting there on the track. I think that's really funny. Um, because that, that's a super unrealistic. That does not happen at all in, in real life. At all. People are going to try and pass you every possible way. Um, I think the ability to turn cars is... I find it in the game of NASCAR Thunder 2004. I feel like this was a very cheap imitation of that game. It's considered the best NASCAR game of all time. So I think that's why they were trying to build off of that one and make it better. Um, sorry about that. Um, lost my train of thought. Anyway, um, moving on. Um, the track selection, I think, is just pretty okay. Um, they only have the cup tracks. They do have the modern cup tracks. Uh, they have drivers. I don't like that they only have two paint schemes per driver. And some of them don't even have two paint schemes. What? How do you only have not two paint schemes? Not even two paint schemes. I mean, there are a bunch of them are just like the Rick Ware cars and stuff. But still, you know, you gotta have, especially some of the bigger drivers. Like, there were so many good paint schemes that they missed out on having, having in the game. And I think they should have them in the game. I, I don't know why they weren't in the game to begin with. I don't know why you have to limit yourself to two paint schemes. I don't know if you get the licensing for more. Or what? I don't know. Also, one big flaw that I didn't realize very early on, but the lack of the Xfinity and the Truck Series. Even in career mode, where the hell are the Xfinity and Truck Series? There's no cars, there's no drivers, there's no trucks. No references to them at all. Like, how are you going to how are you gonna dismiss that? That right there alone is the reason why this game is a regression back from Heat. Was it Heat 5? Was the last heat game heat six? I don't know which one, but that right there is a huge regression going backwards. How do you keep out the lower series? How? I don't know how you keep. How do you do that? Um, and another thing is, you know, I tried online mode, um, which I thought about live streaming, but then I realized nobody plays online. I got in this race with one other guy. And I think if you are in an online match and only one uh, online race, not match, if a uh, race, and if you want a person to race with you, I think you should have at least everybody, other, other generated cars in the field, other than just you and this other person. It's going to get kind of boring, you know, especially if you're on a bigger track and you're separated because one of you crashed the other, you know, talking to you, Denny Hamlin fan that raced me at Darlington. Why'd you have to crash me like that? It also shouldn't be that easy to wreck somebody. I think I was talking about this a little bit earlier before I had a brain fart. But, you know, in Thunder 2004, it's really hard to turn a car. Really hard to make contact with somebody. Really hard to really... You really have you really have to lay the hit in for it to work. It takes just the slightest contact to whip a car around. And nine times out of ten, when you hit a car, it will whip back around and take your ass out as well. And you're going to spin out or slide or lose all your momentum or traction or whatever. And stuff like that. But no, nobody else is going to be involved in the crash. Everybody else just stops. And it doesn't matter. But it's another thing I just noticed uh, was that. And the career mode, which I also tried, um, it's okay. You know, you get you pick a team. You know, you, they don't have where you can start your own team, which I thought was a little weird. Um, they don't, you can't even start your own team. 
you have to start with the team. And even though you put your own name in, they don't put the custom name on the nameplate on the which is on the windows of the car, like the windshields, rear windshields, front windshields. They just keep the regular driver's name in there anyways, which I thought was weird. Why are you making why are you doing this having your own name if you're just gonna put the regular name on the back of the car? Um, but the tracks are fine when you go through this you go through the twenty twenty one schedule and you uh you race and stuff, and they're, you know, they say you're going to, like, contract offers. I'm through, like, a third of the season, and I don't have any of that yet, um, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. I mean, I'm not too worried about it. I mean, you don't get any sponsor changes. You can't change the color of your car or stuff like that. Um, you can't, and the money doesn't matter. You know, you're really just going out there to try and win the championship and uh, go through all the races. That's pretty much it. So it's kind of lackluster. You can't even start your own team, which I think kind of sucks. That's one thing I like from Inside Lines career mode and a lot of the other career modes as well. Uh, you can start your own team and build up and get custom cool sponsors and, and, and race against race your own car, have your own car. You're not racing somebody else's car. That's what I liked about it. Um, and it sucks that you don't, you don't have that anymore you know, in this game. And yeah, this game is flawed. And that's, a, that's a lot of the main flaws. And then you get the blunt when you went to blunders with the game, where like the car is like in Roblox form, or the car's flipping over at the start of the race, or or they're flying into the stands, or you're flying into the stands, or something like that. I only got one of those monumental blunders, and I'm probably gonna get more. I just haven't played the game enough to get it yet. And that sucks. It really does. Um. Also, why are you trying to trademark Talladega Nights by using Shake and Bake? And why are there two different modes for online racing? Why is why do you have to se segregate the big tracks with the small tracks? Like, why? <laughs> why? That's so weird. Why would you do that? Um, but yeah, I think that's it. I don't think I have any more to talk about as far as this game. This game is broken, guys. Um, if you've got a modern, the more modern Heat games, I wouldn't recommend getting this game. But if you need a new game, or you just want it, I mean, it's it functions. Okay, you can go in, and you can race, and you can win. Also, actually, before I point out, at the road courses, you don't get course penalties, so you can cut the course. But I found out when I was doing a race, I get black flagged. But it doesn't tell me that I get black flagged, so it just intervals me right back to last and stops counting my lap times, which is weird. And speaking of the leaderboards, right, they, they glitch out every now and then. Like, if you take the lead or you're, like, near the back of the field, they'll glitch out and they'll start, like, running through the whole field. But then they'll restart back up where you began kind of thing. It's hard to follow the leaderboards at that point because you, sometimes you could be the only driver that it really is counting or sometimes you're the only driver that it's not counting sort of thing. It's really weird. and it's, 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 It needs to be fixed. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this game. Uh, it's not... I, again, I said, don't... If you really don't need a new game... Or you really aren't dying to get it. Don't get it. <laughs> um, I needed one. So I'm happy with what I've got. It's pretty funny. Uh, it functions like what I want it to be. I don't, I'm not that hardcore. I just want to go in and race with my friends sometimes. And stuff like that. But it needs some work. And hopefully it does get some work. So I'm going to rate it probably a 5 out of 10. As far as the game goes. It functions. But it has a lot of work to do sort of thing, maybe a 4 out of 10, again, it functions, okay, that, that's at least it's a game, okay, I like big rigs here, okay, you can win, you are not a winner, um, I mean, you can lose, you're not, you're not winner, sort of thing, anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this game review, I'm going on too long, uh, I do have another game I want to do a game review for, I might not get through the game in time, do one, but we'll see, uh, stay tuned for much more amazing content. I'm back in school, so I can't do as much um, videos. I tried to get a backlog going. Uh, not doing very good at it for now. I've got just under a week left before I go back to school. So I'm trying to trying to keep up the daily uploads. Just stay tuned uh, for much more amazing content. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.